everybody. I'm in my new house now. I don't know if I said anything about me moving, but I am. And I've got stuff all over my face, or neck, I mean, and my face from dyeing my hair last night. I've got to fix it because I've got things on. I'm not sure why I'm pointing it out, but I miss bits. Oops. Um, but today isn't about that or about me moving. But I, this is a quick Lush haul. I haven't bought anything from Lush in a while, so I thought I will. And there's such things as shower bombs. Because now I've got a new house, I kind of don't have a bath no more. <laughs> because there isn't one in this house. Um, so yeah, I might show you my shower room, like my bath. You know what I mean? It's not a bathroom, it's a shower room I'm calling it now. I just happened to say that there now, and that's what I'm going to call it. I'm not going to call it a toilet room because that's a bit strange and there's a toilet in it, but you know, it's got a shower in it, so yeah. It's not got a bathroom, so it's not really a bathroom. <coughs> anyway, enough about that. Um, So yeah, I'll tell you what I got before I'll show you them, and I'll tell you the quantities too. I got four sleepy shower bombs. I don't know why it says shower bomb, shower bomb here, but uh, okay. Um, I got ten comfort zone shower bombs. I presume that's like the comfort or um, bath bomb or bubble bomb, whatever you call it. I'm not sure exactly what it's called. Bubble bar. <laughs> I think that's a bubble bar anyway, but this is a shower bomb and it's called Comfort Zone, so I think it's the same scent. I'll find out now if I can remember what Comfort Earth smells like, but it's absolutely gorgeous. The smell of this here box is absolutely insane. It smells so, so delicious, but, though you can't eat it, so I don't know why I'm saying that word, but yeah. Then I got Coco Loco um, Shower Oil, 50 grams of that. And then I got, oh no, wait a minute, that was something else I was thinking about. Never mind. Um, <clears throat> sorry, that was one of those. And then I got one maple soap. I think I smelt the maple one and I've had it in my hand one time. When I went into the shop and this is a hundred grams. So I think that's the biggest you can get. So yeah, I got that. One second, I'm just going to see if it was. Yeah, that was the biggest one, I think. So yeah, I've got this here, I'll show you it. I think one looks like stars. Yeah, there's some star ones. Oh, I think they're all stars, actually. I don't even know. They don't look like stars half the time. It's just on the ends. And I'm weird, and you don't know what I'm talking about. But I'm talking about these. They're in the shape of stars at the end. They're like shooting star things. Weird. I don't know what I'm talking about. But anyway, hopefully I don't have to put loads of these on the thing that I probably will. And hopefully Marmalade doesn't come over because, um, yeah, actually, no, it's fine. It just things will probably go everywhere, but it'll fi be fine as long as I pick them up. Right. So the first things first is the soap. I'll show you that now. So this is the soap, and it looks absolutely amazing. I'm not exactly sure what's... It looks really nice, and it smells nice too. I think it's peppermint and stuff, though. I can't remember what scent it is, because, you know, like what the fragrance is, but I think it's pe peppermint because I can smell it. But I think it's something else as well. I'm just not sure what it is, but it's very minty. So, so that'll be nice and refreshing, probably to wash my face with. Obviously, not all the time. I can use it as a normal soap too. But I will leave it out. Just need to get all the things off it. And, oh, I'm nearly going to put my phone there. Look at the mess I made when I was getting this out of the box. This is the local 
Oh no, so, sorry. Coco Loco Shire Oil. I forgot that it was like a soap kind of thing, but it is like an oil. So that'll be good. Just rub it on my body. I think you use it in the shire because why would it be called shire oil? So yeah, I'll have to figure out if you actually do do that because I don't want to waste it. That smells absolutely amazing. Though I better not put my thumb on it for too long because it will melt and then it'll be like shire oil all over my hands. <laughs> Which is alright when I'm in the shire, but you know. This is going to be fun. I think I might have to tip all the other ones out just to get at the, all the other bath bombs. But I don't need to show you all of them. I just need to show you one of each. So, I hope I can tell which one's which. I think this is the... I think this is the comfort zone one, but I'm not sure. I'll have a look. I'll have a look if I can find the other one. I think it is. So I'll just put that one there and I'll try and find the other one. Literally can't get it out. Oh, there's none in there. Well, there is, probably. Oh, yep, at the right bottom. And that's probably the same one. Yep, it smells the same. <laughs> this, is gonna, this is gonna be like... There's no more in that one. Um, and there's no more in that one. Oh, goodness me. Ah, there we go. This is probably the... Yep, this one's the sleep one. So I've showed you two of the comfort zone ones because it took me a while to find the sleep one so this is like lavender -y kind of smell and then the comfort zone was one does smell like the comforter i'm not sure exactly what it is but it's like a berry one and stuff it's really really nice so yeah as you can see my fingers are kind of pink because of my hair but that's not an interesting story so yeah, that's all. I do have four of these ones. Oh, sorry. Four of these sleep ones. If you call it sleepy. Sleepy shower bomb. And ten of these. So as you can see, there's two here already. I'm just going to keep the rest of them in the in the box while before I use them. Um. So yeah, I'm going to put these back in the box. But just like on the top of the things instead of on the bottom. Because... There is no point in actually just covering them up again. And I'm going to get rid of this stuff in the bin. Because I don't need to keep all of them. And I will put the shower oil on top of that. And the soap on top of that until I need to use the soap. Because I've got quite a few soaps at the minute. I just thought minty soap would be actually really nice. Especially to wash my face with. So yeah, and I wanted some more shower stuff. Not that. Not that I really needed more shire stuff. Um, I just wanted to try the shire bombs. So after this 14 shire bombs, I'm probably not going to get more. Well, for now. Because I've got loads of other shire stuff, like shire gels and things. So yeah. I'm not sure. I have to figure out how you use the shire bombs. If you just put it at the bottom and it smells. Or if you can just like kind of rub it over your body. I don't know. I'll figure out. Might ask somebody. Or I might just go on the website and see what it actually says about shower bombs. <laughs> but yeah, that's my quick um quick lush haul. I will show you the top of the thing as long as it doesn't have my address on it. Or I can even show you the box because I think it says lush on no it doesn't. It's a plain box. How dare you be a plain box? Because normally you have a lush Lush written on it. Oh, I know. There we go. I'll show you this bit of paper that doesn't have my address on it. That says, enjoy your Lush products. But it's back to front because that's what YouTube does. Or rather, that's what phones do. Like cameras do. So, yeah. <laughs> but 
I wasn't expecting to get my Lush um, stuff today. I was thinking it was going to be re-delivered on Monday. Because they tried to, the postman tried to deliver it the other day. But it was actually... Sorry. It was actually going to... Or posted today... Or not posted. Handed over to me today because um, the, the postman doesn't live too far from here. And he had both of my parcels because I got a boohoo thing as well. But I will be doing that haul, that try on haul rather, in another video coming soon. Don't know whether it'll be today or whether it'll be tomorrow. Most likely be tomorrow at some point because I am think I will be staying in this house um, all day tomorrow. I just have to get up early because there's men coming around um, to see about worktops because I'm getting new worktops in the kitchen. And I'm not sure, but I think they might be fitting lights in the living room. I was thinking, what is this called? I was going to say bathroom, but the thing is, the shower room, rather, um, got a new light today because... The light that was in it before, not that you're really interested, but hopefully you are. The light that was in it before, I can't show you it now. Um, it's really dusty and it's outside. It had like one of those heat things on. It was actually called a sun house. I don't know if anybody knows what I'm talking about. But it's got like a ring. And the ring is hot. So you couldn't touch it because it gives heat so it's like the sun you know what i mean um it doesn't burn you but it's it's nice but and um, it's nice and i would have kept it if it was new but it was very very old probably have been in this house all the time but i really don't know so but maybe not but anyway however old it was it needed to be out because it was quite dangerous and I don't want anything dangerous, especially with an 11 year old in the house. She would probably leave, leave the um, lights on in the bathroom. But, you know, whenever she leaves it, because she did in the old house quite a lot of the times. And I only knew that it was on because the bathroom at the old house um, had like an extractor fan thing on it. So every time the light was on, it would go off. It was like censored for the light switch or something. I don't know. But yeah, so if that light hadn't been switched off, obviously it takes a wee while to cut the extractor fan noise off, but because it's still spinning or something. But anyway, I would know if it was continuously on. So I would be cross at her and go, why did you not turn the light off? You know, you... <laughs> I was going to say you don't live on a farm, but they don't do that either. They don't. They turn off lights. But yeah, it's like um, it's nice bulb, not bulb, nice lights. I'll show you that, and I'll show you my back, my shower. <laughs> Just because this has this hall had shower bombs in it, so yeah, I'll show you that now. This is my bathroom with the shower, well shower room rather, with the shower, it's really nice, it's not an electric shower so I need to make sure I have hot water on all, all times kind of thing, well not at all times but you know what I mean. So yeah, and this is the new light, so that's really nice, um, yeah, and then this is, this is so exciting but there's my toilet and my dryer because now I've got a dryer there's my sink with the um, thing and you can see the other light and the windowsill that box isn't going to stay there all the time and that's my washing mach washing stuff and that stuff just needs to be away because we've just moved house so that's this bathroom stuff and this is my window this stuff is actually new and this is for my new hair well my coloured hair rather so yeah and my light and my nice window and then my nice wall and i can't close the door but there's my washing machine that's in the bathroom or rather shower room 
So I don't know. I think I was only showing you my but my shower room. <laughs> I have to call it a shower room now. Um, but yeah, I only call I only um showed you my shower room because this hall had shower bombs in it. So yeah. <laughs> Bye.